Run Your Blues Away is an uh, initiative with uh, Invincible Women. Um, we started this because I want people to come out and talk about it. You know, even though we say that, you know, there is mental health awareness now, you know, people are talking about it, but there's still a taboo. Huh. You know, it's still a taboo and people still are kind of uh, worried to talk about it. And when they right. do, they are shut down saying that, oh, you're just, you know, overreacting. Yeah, right. He has this thing about push-ups for selfie, right? So oh. when he would ask people to do push-ups, <laughs> Uh, there was this instance where uh, the person came and said, Nee, beta, mere se nahi hoga. So he <laughs> asked, um, Aapki umar kya hai? Okay. So he said, uh, I'm 48. Okay. And, and he is 58. Yes, so yes. he called him beta. <laughs> Imagine. So that kind of idea yeah, that we right. have, it's not yes. just women, but men also. I mean, okay. we, know we are brought up in this idea that, okay, once you're 40, you're, you're done. Yeah, yes, you're okay. Yeah. I mean, no leave it and uh, now it's time for you to give the way for other people. It's not like that. It's your yeah. life. You have to take control, right? I do the minimum that I need to do so that I'm fit enough to do whatever I want to do yes. in life. Women's Day, like you said, it's coming. I would think that, you know, as, as a woman, it is my responsibility yes. that any, any woman around me, if I, if I find them, you know, I see the resilience in them. I right. see how determined they are uh, to praise them. And when I see somebody who's probably not seeing that in, in themselves, so it is my responsibility okay. to make them also realize that it is in them. Actually, people... we didn't make it official. You didn't it put was out made official by other people. <laughs> No. And that's so. why there's a lot of controversy also. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We, we don't really, know. we're getting to know each other. <laughs> we don't yeah, want so to know we, each other so well. We want to know each other well after 50 years. <laughs> yes. Then we'll say, oh, we know each other Maybe well. games if like If we already know each other well, then... There's no interest mm. in that. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. Now fun. it's exciting yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Maybe I have like five questions and you never know after, at the end of it, you might be knowing each other a bit more well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, are you guys ready? I for don't know it? if I want that. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I oh. don't like gyms. I've never okay. been to uh, the gym. I don't have uh, something that I have to do every day. I try to run a lot because I, I really enjoy running. I yeah. don't run for fitness or to lose weight or any of the other reasons. I just run because I like to run. And uh, exercising is about 15-20 minutes uh, every day. Okay. Because the, the main thing about exercise is it's, it has to be regular. Yeah, you know, exactly. It doesn't matter how much you do or what is the yeah. intensity. You just have to be regular. Yeah. And once you identify the kind of exercises that you need to do as yeah. an individual, huh. you know, ba based on what is your goal, then you don't need to do one hour, you know, two hours or three right. hours what people think about. I do the minimum that I need to do so that I'm fit enough to do whatever I want to do yes. in life. That, which is great. Yeah. Also, uh, it's, it's wonderful when we think that International Women's Day is coming and you guys have been doing tremendous job gathering people from women from specifically from all walks of life there's no discomfort in what you're wearing it's it's not necessary you wearing these yoga clothes or the uh, workout clothes or anything you had the sari run yes. you had the grandmother's 10k run correct i mean people from everywhere literally from every walks of life how do you think that you know running a marathon has helped and the thing is you guys have been raising awareness about mental health which right. is even great right. how do you think that you know running a marathon has helped women contemplate these ideas of mental health issues and approach it or you know act on it or you know speak about it later how do you think you know marathon is going to be you know of help in any ways right uh, i would talk about uh, this is very personal of course for me um i wasn't that uh, into healthy stuff before. Um, so I, it was, of course, it's, it was his influence uh, that drove me to kind of tap that uh, in myself, whatever I found within, right? Um, so I started running. Um, I faced a, a few days, you know, which I wouldn't say was too great. I had, uh, I suffered from depression and uh, I came out of it uh, through, of course, uh, there was time when I seeked uh, help but then uh, physical activity really helped me a lot. And I want people to understand that. Uh, so Run Your Blues Away is an uh, initiative with uh, Invincible Women. Um, we started this because I want people to come out and talk about it. You know, even though we say that, you know, there is mental health awareness now, you know, people are talking about it, but there's still a taboo. Huh. You know, it's still a taboo and people still are kind of uh, worried to talk about it. And when they right. do, they are shut down saying that, oh, you're just, you know, overreacting. Yeah, right, right, right. So um, I want women to come out and talk about it, you know, most of the days, you know, we are only um, looking after other people, right? Exactly. Your family members yeah, yeah. or anyone else, because we always put other people ahead of us, right? Yeah. So I want women to take the time um, for themselves and figure out, okay, this is this is it, this is bothering me, and I should talk about it. You know, I should figure out why is this bothering me. Yeah. And uh, I think physical activity is also, I think, it boosts confidence in you, and right. so that you know, you kind of put yourself first. Uh, that kind of boosts yeah. your confidence to put yourself first and then you uh, start doing great things for yourself yeah, you know exactly. not only just for your family members and when it comes to age people again um, think that oh uh, you know I'm too old to do this right. um, in fact there have been instances where I have seen people you know he has this thing about push-ups for selfie right so oh. when he would ask people to do push-ups <laughs> uh, there was this instance where uh, the person came and said nee beta so he asked, um, <laughs> okay. So he said, uh, I'm 48. Okay. And, and he is 58. Yes, so yes. he called him beta. <laughs> Imagine. So that kind of idea yeah, that we right. have, it's not yes. just women, but men also. I mean, we, know we are brought up in this idea that, okay, once you're 40, you're, you're done. Yes, you're okay. Yes. I mean, you know, leave it. And uh, now it's time for you to give the way for other people. It's not like that. It's your yeah. life. You have to take control, right? right, right. So uh, women, even more so, I guess, you know, once we turn 40, we think, oh, okay, life is yes. over. Oh, yeah. So that is not how it is. Life is, it is your life. You have to take control and you have to <coughs> live it, right? So yeah. running helps you to tap into that power within you. I, I have felt it myself. So I want people to, yeah. women to realize it. Which, which is great because it, it's a kind of reassurance that you're also giving in. Right. Have you ever had instances where people have come out and talked about, you know, how running a marathon has really helped them with continuous efforts or something, you know, from their personal anecdotes? Have, have, you know, do you remember any of these people, you know, any of these instances where people really came out and talked to you about it? Every day. Yeah? Every day people come to me and they say that 
uh, you know, we've been following you and we started running because of you and it's really changed our lives. Wow. So whether it is, you know, from weight loss, because a lot of people start exercising because they want to lose, lose weight. weight. That is the biggest right. reason for people to think that right. I need to exercise. As Ankita was saying, depression, you know, going through something that's not so good, yep. not so good phase in your life, you want to come out of it, you start exercising, it makes you feel good. Hmm. You know, so all kinds of people come to me every single day and say, you know, we were so happy that we started to exercise, we started to run, it's changed right. our lives completely, it's changed the way we look at work, it's changed our relationships at home, wow. the way we are with our children, our spouses, the entire, entire life changes. People who don't exercise and don't run can't even imagine what a difference it makes. Right. That's, that's, you know, just to hear the people coming up and talking to you guys about it is in itself very inspiring. Yeah, the thing is that we don't, a lot of people don't know, but India has the largest, the fastest growing running population in the world. More people in India start running every day than in any other country, country. in the world. Oh. So P Indians are get, starting to realize that health is important, yeah. exercise is important, yes. and running is fantastic. Great. So, we have talked about Invincible Women. Yeah. Now, there's a small game that we are getting you guys into. Uh, you guys are completing your fifth year as a married couple. And I'm pretty sure you guys know each other well. But this is just to understand how much we you really, really know. We're getting to know each other. <laughs> we don't yeah, want so to know we, each other so, well. We want to know each other well after 50 years. <laughs> yes. Then we'll say, oh, we know each other Maybe well. Maybe games if like If we already know help. each other well, then... There's no interest mm. in it. Yeah, it's exciting. No now fun. it's exciting yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Maybe I have like five questions and you never know after, at the end of it, you might be knowing each other a bit more well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, are you guys ready? I for don't know it? if I want that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever okay. do you want, Kitty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, the first question, very basic things, okay? Very basic things we do at home and stuff like that. Who among you is the biggest fitness freak in the house, of the house? What does that mean, fitness freak? Who never skips it? Who is very, you know, keeps the routine tight, you know, doesn't skip it any day or thinks twice before doing that? I not a lazy both person. Of us. To both do of that. us. Both of us. We're not you. bigger, yeah. Both of us are very conscious. Yeah. We, we enjoy it. So when you enjoy something, yeah, you, do you don't skip yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I'd like to think that we both motivate each other and yeah, you know, inspire is, each which, other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is very and, and we don't do too much, you know. Sometimes people feel, oh no, I can't do it, it's so it's really difficult. Yeah. So we do easy things. Okay. Whatever we feel like doing at that moment, that's what we do. I exercise for one minute at a time, 30 seconds, okay. sometimes, 45 oh, okay. seconds. And throughout the whole day, it adds up to maybe 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Not even 10 minutes at one time, you know. Huh. So we keep it very easy, very simple. I have time, I'll just do one set of push-ups, you know. Right. Nice. Do some squats. That's so it. So both of you it is. Yes. Yeah. It was like more probably to have more cheat meal days. We don't cheat. You never because no. we eat everything. We eat everything. According to me, because see, human beings are able to eat everything. That is the biggest advantage that we have. We can eat anything and we can survive. True. Now, how to eat it, when to eat it, and what to eat, yeah, yeah. you have to know yes. and be aware of for yourself. Right, right. So, if you eat gulab jamun, for example, you don't need to eat 50 and in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. Not 50 gulab jamun at 12 o'clock at midnight. I mean, that's the worst <laughs> exactly. thing to do, right? Yes. But maybe at lunchtime, you can have two. Yeah, yeah. And that's good enough. Maybe yeah. in the evening again you can have one. But okay. not 50 at midnight. Yeah, yeah. So that's the difference. Okay. You know? yeah. Now, who is more romantic between the Me. two of you? Him. Oh, you agree? <laughs> okay. <laughs> who proposed first? Me. Him. Oh, yeah. okay. So trying to unanimously yeah. said. Yeah. Nice. So, so we, for you guys, we say one, two, three, and then we'll answer. Okay, can I ask the next question? But then she looks at you yeah, and she knows what she's going to say. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay. Who's a better cook among the oh, both me, of you? Oh, me, me. Of course, That's me. It. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I make good sandwiches. Yeah. And poha. And you make good poha. Nice, nice. Yeah. Good. This is the last thing. Who has anger management issues? Oh, oh me. Oh, okay. You didn't have to look at each other. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Who says sorry first at the end of Me. Him. That's you? Him. Okay. But all husbands. Huh? <laughs> Are you married? Like, no, I'm not. You don't know. Yet, so, so you'll get to know. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. That was about it. I, I think you guys agree on most of the things about each other. You guys know it, which is great. Again, coming back, which is about four more shots, please. I think after all these viral fitness videos that you put up on your social media sites, right. Milan Soman has been in news recently. I mean, in recent times because of this entire series, season one and season two of. Four more shots, please. Mm -hmm. What what made you sign the project? What was that about the uh, series that made you want to do it? And you know, like serve major thirst traps, literally. 
Did you have like young women slid into your DMs? How did fans take it? Oh, that happens it? all the time. Yeah? Even before you formal have... short speech, after formal <laughs> short speech. But the thing yeah. was, I thought it was uh, an interesting uh, genre. It was something uh, new Not that hadn't been done in India before. Yeah. Um, we need we need a lot of variety, you know, in our entertainment. We don't have it. We can have much, much more. Yeah. So when former shots, please, was uh, uh, told to me, I said it's it's nice. I'd like to do it. And they explained to me also the reason why they wanted me to be there, and the fact that you know there was a woman director, woman producer, the entire crew was women. Yes, yes. They were like, no, we want you mm. in the show because dot 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 dot. <laughs> And I said, yeah, okay, it'll be fun, and it was fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, both the seasons were great. Yeah. And, and yeah. people loved the show. Yes, so, yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. I think people loved your role also yeah. a lot. People have been talking about how the chemistry sort of worked out. Did you have a critic? Uh, you know, ha- has Ankita ever been your critic? You know that you did this or you did. Uh, it she's was my wife. Good. She's your wife. Which means she's my critic. <laughs> yeah. No, but, okay. uh, but she's so always very supportive. Yeah. Always, yeah. yeah. She loved me in the show. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 What Absolutely. was the question? Yeah. Then. Yeah. I really, really liked it. Um, I think he has evolved as an actor. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, yes. I think a lot of people would agree yeah. to that. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yes. And I always tell him that you know, um, I watch the show because he is in it. Otherwise, I'm not a very big movie buff or like oh. you know, I don't really watch okay. a lot of things. Um, so when I watch it, I watch it because he's there, and then I really. Look at it, you know. Like nice. I tell him, okay, this is where you were really good, and this is maybe you can work on it a little, you know, things like that. Yeah, yeah. but she's more critical of how I walk on the road, <laughs> you know, things like that. Kind of movie. I'm your like, end of- like I just did a film called Lakad Bagga, yes, which I yes, have two scenes. But yes. she said, oh, you were so good in the yeah. two scenes. So she's she likes uh, things that I do. Okay. That are I think a little more difficult than walking on the road. But walking on the road is difficult. But I'm very honest. Yeah. So it's not like I'm biased that he because he's my uh, husband yeah. and I have to say. I I only say <laughs> you're good. That I do, but I only no. say you're good when you're good. <laughs> okay, which makes sense. Also, uh, what is what is your uh, the new projects that you have signed? Is there anything in terms of movies that you're doing? Invincible year? Women. In- <laughs> so I'm new the face project. of Invincible Women, which I think is very exciting. And like Ankita said, you know, it's it's uh, never been done before that there's an event right. from three kilometers yes. to hundred. So where the three kilometers run, runners who are beginners, you know, they're just starting to run. So they've chosen three, can actually meet women who have done a hundred kilometers. Okay, women yes. just like them. These are not professional athletes. Yes, yes. They're housewives. Sometimes they're women who work in corporates. Some of the women are over sixty years old. They're running a hundred kilometers. Yes. So how did yes. they get there? You know, for so any for any woman to woman to understand that that this is also my own capability. Yeah. If I just pay a little bit of attention to myself, if I take care of myself, I can do this. You know, so it's very important. It's it's fun to do yeah, things like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. So oh. another movie I'm doing is called uh, Emergency. Okay. Um, okay. Which is about uh, the period of emergency okay. where Indira Gandhi. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, right. You know, it's 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 about her. Period. Okay. And slightly, I think, before the emergency period and, and after also. But that was also fun. I'm playing uh, field marshal Manikshaw in it. Okay. And now I'm going to shoot for another film called uh, Starfish. Okay. Yeah. Nice. You so, have quite a lot in hand right now. Well, not a lot. I'm, but, I'm very fussy. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is again, you know, you did four more shots after a gap. Yeah. Which clicked, and again, it took 2023 to come up with Lakhat Bhagat, right? Yes. Nothing in between, I guess. Yes. After four more shots, yeah. So, have you ever wanted to, you know, explore this entire arena of movies? Um, not really, really no. no. Uh, it doesn't really interest me a lot. Uh, Only if it's a series say. about invincible women. <laughs> <laughs> if I that's mean, the case, yeah, I like action. I like yeah. action. I like things, uh, women-centric things. You know, so I watch uh, series, any series that would come that would be about you know women and right. uh, their resilience because I, I really feel that women are so strong and um, in and any aspect, exactly. any aspect, mm-hmm. not not. All, but some of us mm-hmm. we yeah, don't know right. it. Yeah, like you said, you know, Women's Day. Like you said, it's coming. I would think that you know, as as a woman, it is my responsibility yes. that any any woman around me, if I if I find them, you know, I see the resilience in them. I right. see how determined they are uh, to praise them. And when I see somebody who's probably not seeing that in in themselves, so it is my responsibility okay. to make them also realize that it is in them. So um, we have this thing called Invincible Squad. Okay. So all these squads. So that's what, uh, like Milan was saying, that people who would come for three kilometers and ten kilometers and five kilometers, you know, they would see uh, the women who have already run fifty kilometers yeah. and seventy-five right. kilometers and hundred. So uh, I want them to realize that you know all of them are 
just as ordinary as any of us, yes. right? Uh, it's just that the determination that kind of differentiate us, right? right so you correct, just right. have to understand that. And we help you with training plans, you know, for free, of course. And we just want you to realize that the power is within Within yourself. You know, you just have to realize it. And uh, for Women's Day, I would say, you know, we would do these activations with Invincible Squad uh, everywhere in different places um, around the globe, I would say. Um, We would have mentors. And they would uh, help with the training plans with anybody who would like to do a longer distance. So, yeah. Great. And that's the movie. (laughs) <laughs> because that's the question you asked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, that talks hugely yeah. about the passion that you have yeah. about these things, and it's really inspiring. I must Thank say, you. great, Thank Ankita. You. Also, uh, I remember when you guys had made your relationship official, and when there were talks about the marriage and all that. A lot Actually, of people, we didn't make it official. You didn't it put was out made official. official by other people. <laughs> no. And that's so. why there was a lot of controversy, also. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The, like the controversy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about the controversy, but the people who talked about the age gap, yeah. right. I mean, despite of respecting how two people decided to, you know, get together in this journey of life together, a lot of people talking about the age gap, basically criticizing you, didn't even think about what you guys thought about it before you decided on it. And I remember uh, Milan talk, uh, talking about it in one of the interviews, how it has taken a toll on Ankita's mental health, you know, uh, how do you think you have battled all these comments that people pass through and what have you come stronger out of it? Me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, <'cause>, so, yeah. <laughs> no, but um, of course at first it kind of disturbed me a little bit because um, I, I come from a very normal family, yeah. right? We are not used to this, uh, um, I would say, news articles Lamb, and stuff like that, right? That, yeah. um, so anytime my parents would read something, it would bother them. I mean, uh, of course, people don't understand that and people don't see that, you know, when they comment something exactly. uh, bad and they don't realize that, oh, this person is as normal as me, you know, they have family and they, they might feel bad about this. Yeah. Um, so they don't realize it and everybody's entitled to their opinion, I understand that. And also, whatever you think, it is the reflection of yourself in, in that, right? You, right. you see the world as you are. So however you're raised, you will see the world as that. So if you see the difference, you can only see the negativity in something that I would say then maybe you always have put a lot of uh, effort in the negativity. You have only seen negativity around you. Right. So um, of course, at first it bothered me, like I said. But uh, later I just learned how to deal with it. And my parents also kind of uh, came yeah. around it. And they said, OK, fine. It doesn't really, if it doesn't bother you, it, it shouldn't, shouldn't bother us. So, yeah, yeah. Right. Great, which is great. Which brings me to the last question. What is 2023 going to bring for you guys? What are your plans? Invincible Women's obviously is taking greater heights with people, you know, a lot of women coming out and inspiring each other, I would say, with their own stories. Correct. Apart from that, you know, what does it have to do, both fitness-wise, otherwise? Surprises. Yeah? (laughs) Lots of it. Lots of surprises. We don't don't really plan anything. If something comes up and we think it's fun, we just do it. Okay, so is there like a tenure that you guys have decided upon for Invincible uh, Women's Run? So That's whatever Ankita plan. decides, then you know how to take it forward. I'm just the face I, of the event. Uh, yeah, whatever actually. she says, you have to do this and you know. Yeah, this is I think the first event you have planned uh, together as a uh, couple, right? Where you have come up with an idea and you're the face of it, right? Has it happened yes. before? Yes. It no, has this is yes. It's great. It's very special. With this us. is yes. Yeah. Yes. So I'm the face of many events. Every but Sunday I'm flagging together. off an event. So every Sunday you are I'm face the face of an event. So this is the first time I'm the face of an event for an event organized by, by your wife. Yeah. Of yeah. Course, it's of special course. that it is. Yeah. It's it's very really special. special. Yes. I, I wish you all the very best Thank with so Invincible much. Women. Mm-hmm. Listening about the stories in itself makes me inspiring, and I'm pretty sure all the viewers who are watching it are going to join you guys there and think about why it's making a you know why it has to make a difference right now i wish you both all the very best thank, thank you, you so sir much. thank you so much thank you thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much you have to come and run obviously i'm sure with, to be with everyone yeah. around you yeah 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 i'll be joining come and join guys. us yeah. yes yes sure thank you thank, thank you ria thank you thank so much. you hi this is ankita kuar hi this is milan soman in between your exercise routine keep watching news 18 shosha